Unrepentant when I met him today, despite the storm his words created, UKIP's Godfrey Bloom insists the Bongo Bongo Land comment was harmless. Do you apologise if people were offended, if people read this as racism? Anybody who read it as racism, frankly, is rather stupid, and I do not apologise to stupid people. His speech in this video obtained by The Guardian was about Britain's foreign aid budget. His choice of words has got everyone talking. And how we can possibly be giving a billion pounds a month when we're in this sort of debt to bongo bongo land is completely beyond me. He's now been told by his party to never use the phrase again, but says at least it got a wider audience for the debate. Well, I've been told not to use the phrase by my party chairman, and so be it, and I will comply. But we've got to bear in mind in politics, if I hadn't used that phrase, we wouldn't have this subject on the front burner. UKIP say the phrase could be viewed as disparaging. Others are choosing their own stronger words. These are intolerant, racist comments. Uh, and I think that if they want to be a serious party, then they need to show that this kind of behaviour is unacceptable. It's a further PR headache for UKIP after one of their candidates was suspended last December for suggesting disabled babies were a burden and should be aborted. In April, another candidate was suspended when a photo emerged of him apparently making a Nazi salute. And in May, a UKIP councillor stepped down after sharing offensive material about Muslims on Facebook. For many of Godfrey Bloom's constituents, he's now gone too far. If he was going to pose objections to it, he could have done it in a much more professional manner rather than calling a slightly racial slur. I don't believe in being offensive like that at all. There's no need for it. Yes, I think it is offensive, really, yes. But I'm not outraged. In the past, he's described his own views as uncompromising. Tonight, Godfrey Bloom issued a statement saying he sincerely regrets any genuine offence he might have caused and any embarrassment to his party. Peter Lane, 5 News.